In this video, I'm going to be exploring why my anti-lock brakes kick on every time my vehicle comes to a stop. Every single time. On dry pavement. 03 Trailblazer, by the way. So I've got this interesting situation going on with my Trailblazer. Brakes work really good. I just replace all the, the uh, rotors and pads on this thing. But when I come to a, a stop, when I get down to about five miles an hour and I'm coming to a complete stop, the ABS system kicks on and my brake pedal does that burr sound. I'm pretty sure it's the wheel speed sensors on my hubs. Real quick and dirty way to check which sensor might be failing is to let go of the steering wheel as you're coming to a stop and see if the steering wheel turns to one direction or the other. Whichever way it turns, the opposite wheel, the opposite side is the problem. I'll demonstrate here real quick. Okay, you can see that my steering wheel went to the right just a little bit and the brake pedal did its buzzing noise. All right, so I think that my driver's side wheel speed sensor is bad or it's just not getting a very good reading. I've done some research on this. The hubs can get some rust scale and stuff built up on it and cause the wheel sensor to actually, there it goes again, the wheel sensor to actually raise kind of out of its spot. And it's probably throwing it out of its proper position just enough to really cause it to mess up. What it's thinking is the wheel goes from about four miles an hour to zero and that jump from that speed to zero, the computer thinks that you're losing traction and so your ABS comes on. I'm gonna take a look at this, you know, check the connections, clean whatever I can, and uh, see if that doesn't do the trick. Another thing to consider would be potentially just pulling the ABS fuse out of the fuse panel and uh, disabling the, the ABS system altogether. So I may just try that, just to pull out the ABS and then uh, run around the parking lot a little bit again and just see what happens. All right, I'm under the hood and I just pulled the cover off the fuse panel here. The ABS is fuse number 33. And that is right there. All right, obviously pulling this fuse is going to trip the ABS and brake lights. So let's just drive around the parking lot real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the brakes. Okay. It's not doing it. Obviously it's not gonna because we pulled the fuse and so there's no continuity. So, if I wanna really truly fix it, then I would pull the wheel sensor out of the hub and uh, clean the, the surface around the sensor and bolt it back into place and uh, see if that does anything. And if that doesn't work, then it's probably gonna need a new wire, a new sensor. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the caliper bolts and remove the caliper. You may need to put an 18 millimeter wrench right here on this little nut that may help you loosen the caliper bolt. Just gonna set that aside. Next we've got these two 18 millimeter bolts right here. You may need a breaker bar to get these off. We've got those loose and then we'll get the caliper bracket and the brake pads off. All right, whoops. You want to try to avoid that happening. Okay, next we're going to take the brake rubber off. They put these nice bolt holes right here. If the rotor is stuck, you can thread a bolt in there and, and pry it, basically pry it off of the hub there. So that, now that I've got the rotor off, I can see wheel speed sensor right here. There's an Allen bolt right here. So I'm going to get that out with my Allen wrench and we're going to pull the sensor out and I'm going to clean the hub and clean the sensor and put that back in. Hopefully that will rid the unwanted ABS at low, low speed. All right, this is a five millimeter Allen wrench. I'm gonna tap it in, make sure I get a good seat because that bolt is rusty and I don't wanna risk stripping out the inside of the Allen. Okay. I'm just gonna use a screwdriver, kind of pry on it a little bit. It's just made out of plastic, so you gotta be real careful. You can see that there's rust buildup around the edges. So what I'm gonna do is clean this surface off, clean that surface, and then clean the sensor. And I'm gonna do that, put it all back in, 
and take care of it on the driver's side and that should hopefully remedy the unwanted ABS. If it doesn't, then I probably have a bad sensor here and I just have to replace the whole line. All right, you can see that metal, I don't know, I'm just gonna call it a diode right there in the center of that wheel speed sensor. And you can see inside here, those raised teeth. So as the wheel spins, that sensor picks up those teeth going across it like that and that tells the computer how fast you're going. And if that gets gummed up or too far away from the hub, then it's not gonna work properly. Looks like that O-ring's a little bit chewed up. This is just some real light mass airflow sensor cleaner. It dries clean, it doesn't leave any sticky residue. Scrape all this gunk off the best I can. Okay, got it nice and clean. I'm gonna throw that back through the hole here. Not, again, I don't want to over tighten it because that is plastic. I don't want that to crack. I'm going to do this the same way on the driver's side and we'll uh, see if this fixes the, the, the issue. All right, I'm on the driver's side. I've got the wheel speed sensor off and you can see just how much scale builds up around the sensor. I mean, it's quite a bit. You see where the good metal is right here. There's a, a decent amount of rust that's built up and scaled up underneath the sensor causing it to lift. So we're going to sand all this down as much as we can. I took my screwdriver and scraped off all the heavy scale. Took a piece of sandpaper and sanded that down. Cleaned off the sensor. Probably wouldn't hurt to put a little bit of grease on this. I don't know, dielectric grease or something. Some kind of grease to put it back in here. I don't happen to have any. So I'm going to roll the dice here and just put this back in. And just cross my fingers. Hopefully it works. I'm going to put the ABS fuse back in. It's that one right there. All right, I drove the Trailblazer to work this morning and the ABS issue is fixed. The lights have gone off on the dashboard and the ABS uh, system does not kick on under five miles per hour anymore. Check it out. No ABS kicking on.